הציור. פה זה הצד של הציור בעצם, ויש לו איזה קו כזה ועוד קו כזה. I started painting on people in 2009. Self-portrait, the first work, was motivated by basic questions related to the borders between the mediums. In its work, I started from a photograph of myself, from which I made an oil painting. Then I painted on myself to resemble the oil painting. Finally, I filmed and photographed myself painted. Somehow, I painted a representation of me on my own body. I then created not only my representation, but my surrounding as well. In self-portrait in a pool, I painted the room and created my own shadow on the walls and on myself. The work was created only for the camera in trompe l'oeil. The space was photographed in such a way that the form of space disappears. In the work self-portrait in red, my main focus was space related to photography. I wanted to create a space in such a way that the abilities of the photographic process to document and reproduce a three-dimensional space should fail. The photographical process was not aimed anymore at recreating the illusion of the space, but was used to create a new space of illusion. The next stage lasted three years until 2014. I have always been attracted by Francis Bacon's painting. But the characters in his paintings are isolated, waiting, or being in physical effort. They are distorted, blurred, bodies are shown as flesh and are fragmented. I am part of the second generation after the World War II, and I consider Bacon as a father figure, whom gave a post-war existentialist interpretation of humankind that I felt I needed to respond to. The first thing I wanted to do was to give back his characters a face, in the way Levinas describes it, a face to communicate and grow through the interactions with others. I believe that man can be free not only in the void described by Sartre, but that the other can be an opportunity of growth, a way to go beyond ourselves. In my works, I reenacted what Bacon created from his memory and imagination and then modified it. This was my way to change this vision of man he shows that is part of my own reality and education. This is a vision I inherited from the past generation. The fact that subjects are living in my works are the only way for them to respond to their environment, act, somehow communicate through their actions and face. The living character can show more complexity. He has a soul. It requires more blindness to see him only as flesh. The working process of this sort of living painting is very important to me. It is actually part of the final work that can be seen mostly in the photographs. All my works are first modeled using sketches. I usually work with Indian ink, black and white at the beginning, then I add watercolors. This step usually includes mathematical calculations to understand the size of the set, approximate angles of the camera, what lens to use, where the camera should be positioned. Then I sometimes use a 3D software to simulate more precisely the set and understand constraints. Once all is planned, the construction can start. Each set takes usually two to three months of work to build. It may combine various mediums, such as painting on canvas, metal, wood, concrete, PVC, and a lot of additional materials. I work with assistants for this part. In parallel of the building, we work on lighting design, create the costume for the model, build prosthesis. This part includes a lot of project planning, very similar to a cinema filming day, as everything needs to be ready for the filming. The day of the filming, the studio changes into a cinema set, usually 10 to 15 people are present. The models, cameraman, photographer, light designer, costume designer, makeup designer, producer, light and art assistants. Most of the filming days lasted nearly 24 hours in a row, because once the model is painted on, it has to go on. Stopping a filming day before it is finished means starting everything from scratch the next time. Also, each set is built for a specific character, depending on his size. This often means that you cannot really see the set before the character is placed and painted on. The set actually remains inaccessible until the very last moment of the filming day, where the decor, models, camera and lighting come together simultaneously. I choose the model to work with because the personality and body fit the work. 
I'm interested in a person. I never work with actors. I'm not looking to have someone play a role. I also never work twice with the same model because I want it to be the first time. I'm interested in how the person will react to the new environment that has been built for her or him. When the camera rolls, there's a sudden silence. At that point, the model is alone under the projectors, isolated from the environment. Only then I can catch her or him without any mask, in a very genuine moment of her or his being.